From KSMQ Television in Austin, this is On Cue, connecting interesting issues and interesting people. On Cue. Jenny Knabel is the Executive Director of the Austin Artworks Center, which of course is responsible for the Great Artworks Festival every summer. And they're branching out. And today, Jenny's here to talk about music and a little more music gonna be coming from the walls of the Art Center. Welcome. Thank you. And we talk about it, this Art Center and, and it, as it's such a, like it's been around for so long. Yeah. Uh, and it's, uh, you've been there from the beginning. It's yes. uh, congratulations. Thank you, yeah. It's only, we opened in August of 2014. So it hasn't been that long, oh, but it's amazing. Okay. <laughs> it seems like you're just doing a lot of programming. Yeah, yeah, it's great. It's been an opportunity to really explore options as far as programming goes, so it's been fun. And not just one thing. Uh, I know we're here to talk about music, but pottery, painting, and music. Yeah. And are you doing theater yet? Or We have. The Ellis Middle School have, has done their end of year play at the Artwork Center, so okay. it's been fun. And this is something that uh, a musician, as I understand it, in the area approached you all about doing the special type of concert. Yes, yeah, a gentleman named Pete Wongen, who works at Hormel Foods, he is a drummer and actually went to school for drumming. And so he used to play with a lot of bands and he approached us with an idea to have a jam session to try to get local musicians a chance to meet each other and play with each other and it's been a lot of fun. So they don't know, do they not know each other and they don't know what songs they're going to do? A little bit. Um, they do know each other. Well, it depends. A lot of the local musicians do know each other, but there always has been new musicians that have come that are actually from Austin and, and connections are made. They, you know, you put two and two together, you see someone, especially in a smaller town, you see someone that you don't think is a musician and then they show up at the jam session. You're like, oh yeah, wow, that's great. And so. you've had, what, two of them? or more? Um, we've had three. Three, okay. Yep. And I know I walked past the building one night and there were cars up and down the street. Yeah. And so people are really enjoying it. You're getting good crowds. Yeah, we are getting great crowds. So you can either come as a musician and participate or you can just come and listen. It's free either way. And we are, right now we've been trying to do about one a month. So they're usually on Friday night. A Friday night a month from 7 to 9 and you can come at any point in time and if you're a musician and you want to play you just come and sign up and then we work you in the rotation and it sounds great yeah yeah and so back to your earlier question as a musician you come and think about what songs you'd like to perform and then you just let the band know so we have a set house band that has rotated a little bit but the house band will back up any musician so whatever instrument you play or if you're a singer we've been trying to get more singers to come you just join in and let the band know what song you want to play and there's such professional musicians in the house band that they just you just give them keys and they jam with you and it's been a lot of fun. You're looking at just like rock and roll or like old time Anything. dance music or yeah. have you had it all? There? Yeah, it's been quite a great variety. It's been a lot of fun. In February, we actually are going to try to focus the jam session a little bit more on jazz music because we have um, Paramount Jazz happening that Sunday after, it's going to be on February 12th, the jam session, and we've got Paramount Jazz on February 14th. So we're going to try to have a little bit more of a jazz theme so we can kind of celebrate jazz all weekend. And is there a music scene in Austin? Yeah, there is. It's How really great. How would you great. describe it? Um, it's um, very grassroots right now, I would say. A lot of the local bands are playing at some venues like the VFW and occasionally at the B&J or the Eagles and every once in a while at Torgies, but it's just kind of up and coming. I know a lot of people have talked to me in the past that Austin used to have a stronger band scene, and um, it's kind of building momentum over the years. So and how great. does this fit in, do you see it, envisioning it with uh, the mission of the center? I mean, it's fun, yeah. and it's a blast, yeah. but uh, you know, how did that come about that, oh, this fulfills our mission? It, it helps us support musicians and it kind of builds the music scene in, Aus in Austin. We've gotten feedback from even just general community members who have noticed the increase in music happening at venues outside of our own. So we run the Paramount Theater as well as the Artwork Center and as you mentioned the festival and because we've been able to do more frequent music events, it seems like music in general is starting to pop up more and more at the other venues in town. 
So the, what you're saying is because you're providing these opportunities, more people are, hey, I like doing this. Yeah. Let's play out more. Yeah, I think it's a combination of musicians coming out and knowing that there's opportunities to play more in Austin, as well as people going out to listen to live music. People, more people are trying, are seeking that out now and are seeing it as an option in Austin. I want to talk a little bit more about what else is going on at the center, but if people want to attend this, is it a certain day every month? We tried to do that and unfortunately we couldn't figure out a day that was consistent. So always visit our website at austinareaarts.org and that has the complete calendar of events. We also released our spring newsletter and the dates are in that publication as well as on our Facebook page. So those are the three main spots I would look for the dates. Okay. And uh, you, you get a great view of downtown Austin. You do. From it's a lot of fun. the second floor yes. overlooking the Yeah, city. it makes you feel like you're in a big city. <laughs> so it's really great. Yeah. <laughs> um, what else is happening at the center? Uh, you're, there's always stuff happening. What's there is. Yeah, we um, have gallery openings. We have a gallery opening that just opened on Friday night, and then our next show is going to be a youth show. So several of the local elementary schools and the middle schools are going to be presenting artwork done by the students, and that'll open in February. And then, of course, we have a retail space that always has art and artists that are rotating their artwork there. We have over 70 artists selling their work right now on the main floor, hmm. all from primarily around the area in southeastern Minnesota. So it's been really great. This uh, past holiday season, there was a new kind of Christmas holiday concert featuring yes. all of the local schools, mm -hmm. choirs, bands, and that hadn't been done in that venue, I don't know if ever, but yeah. for a yeah. long time. Uh, how did that work out? That was a great event. So it happened at the Historic Paramount Theater, and it featured all of the music groups, like you said, from Austin Public Schools, as well as alumni and music supporters of the school program. And each show was slightly different, so it was gave us an opportunity to allow more ensembles to perform. And like anything, you know, it was the first year, so we had some great audiences, but I think there's room to grow. But a lot of people commented that it was fun to see an elementary school group perform with a high school group, because you can kind of see where they're going to go through the trajectory of their schooling. So it's a lot of fun. What kind of programming is the trend in theaters such as yours, size-wise, population-wise? Is there something new coming or people using the theater differently? Um, that's a good question. I, I don't know if, if people have been using the theater differently per se, but I would say that a lot of the programs that we bring in, we try to include outreach opportunities in addition to the public performance at the theater. So whenever we bring an artist in to do a public show, we try to also have them do some programs in the school system or like at senior centers or other working with other nonprofits in town to kind of bring the art not only to have a public show, but also make it a little bit more of an enriching experience for the community as a whole. So you get out of the theater mm -hmm. with the same yeah. players. Yeah, a little bit more interaction, and then you can come and enjoy their art. Uh, wrapping up our conversation with Jenny Knabel, Executive Director of Austin Artworks Center. So the big push for the summer will be the festival again? Yes, yep. Yeah. Anything it's in between there? You, uh, like, What about 4th of July? Yeah. At the Paramount. I don't, uh, do people not go to concerts in the summertime? Yeah, we've tried doing summer programming in the past, and it, we find that most people want to be outside. So it's hard doing indoor events when everyone wants to do outdoor music. So mm -hmm. we've experimented a little bit with that, but the festival is such a huge endeavor that we are really primarily focused on organizing that event. And this year it's going to be its fifth year, so we might be doing some fun things as far as a year anniversary goes so there'll be more <laughs> details to come for sure on that and you're growing as a facility yeah space wise yeah we are lo looking at launching uh, an expansion of the historic Paramount theater something that the community members have wanted to do ever since they renovated the space if you've ever been in the venue it's beautiful it was but it was built as a movie theater not necessarily for performing arts so the lobby space is very limited it's not very accessible as far as main floor bathrooms and the backstage is inaccessible so we're looking at how we want to expand it in the near future oh what do you mean the dressing rooms are plenty big <laughs> 
<laughs> Someday uh, we'll take people on a backstage tour. Yeah, really. <laughs> It'll be a quick one. <laughs> yeah, one at a time. <laughs> yeah. Walking sideways <laughs> down the hallway, down the back there. No, I'm, yeah. I, sh I shouldn't make light of it. But having been but in plays <laughs> there, it is a tight squeeze, especially yeah. for someone with a bit ample uh, <laughs> padding here. <laughs> Okay, well, thank you very much, Jenny, for coming, giving thank us the you. update, and yeah. uh, and jam on. Do you jam at the jam? I don't. You don't? Someday, maybe. Okay, tambourine or anything? I should, yeah. yeah. You'd be in the corner. Or a cowbell, cowbell. yes. <laughs> All right, thanks, Jenny. <laughs>